Before we begin, just wanted to let you know that Neon Knights is a cyberpunk racing game that I've created and uh, we're selling it for US customers at only $15 on funagaingames.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gaslands TV. Today we're going to be doing this car here. It has a face in the front. Uh, it's got like a jet thing in the back. I think I'm going to put maybe a flame. Make a house rule where uh, if the flame touches something, including my own cars, it burns, causes fire damage or something. But uh, if you're looking for these, uh, I have them on my Etsy page. Uh, if you want to go check out the link in the description, uh, you could order some of those 3D printed stuff. It's like a flame kit or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I drilled out the underneath here and opened the car up and I'm going to get rid of these, uh, what are they called, decals on the car. So uh, I'm going to use a filer here, rub that off. And uh, when you're working on metal cars or metal body cars, the, uh, the file really could do some really nice uh, battle damage as you're uh, removing decals. Like it removes it, even the paint and stuff, which is, uh, you know, gas lensy, I guess. And uh, could really go to town on your metal cars. Just file the edges off and really damage it up a bit. Makes it look like uh, a really old hot wheel that was played since the 70s. Uh, you could use the tip of the filer here too to give like scratches or bullet marks. Just damage it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to glue the flame in the back here. I was having a really hard time gluing this thing. So I think I'm going to use a drill. Drill out the, uh, the inside of the jet there. And put it in and glue it. And that, uh, that looked like it held pretty well. So I primed it uh, completely in white except the body. And uh, I did the engine silver and now i'm going to do the window black uh, the green and white stuff ignore that that i was trying something and uh, i used that for another build i did and uh, since i have the black out i'm going to dirty the tires it's always a good idea to put some black even on black tires uh, it gives it a matte look more of a rubber look if you could see the difference between the big ones and the small ones there it even gives it like some kind of texture it, it looks more realistic so uh, put some black on your wheels if you're going to use the same wheels don't forget to uh, make a little break with uh, some coffee here the griswold family and uh, oh since i have you here i'm going to give you a tip check this out my wife didn't need her keurig holder anymore so i used it for my paint and it's a uh, real space saver if you guys are looking for something to hold your paint, just get yourself one of these Keurig things. They, they rotate. Super practical. And uh, yeah, so that's my tip of the video. Now I'm going to do the front here silver. Uh, I'm probably going to need to do a few coats because the uh, green and white is uh, still showing. But uh, let's work on the flame, the fire here. I'm pretty sure you guys are excited about that. I'm going to use this lemon yellow. It's really bright from uh, Vallejo. And my friend Marco gave this to me. He does Gundams and he said uh, to use something bright to do the undertone of the fire. And if you don't have lemon, you could use just a regular yellow. And then uh, with some orange, you could sponge some orange on the yellow. And that's going to give it a little bit of texture. This is really quick, uh, quick way of doing this. I mean, you could do it with the brush if you want to be really precise and maybe spend an entire day on just doing the fire and be like super professional, but uh, I don't have the time or the patience. So uh, I'm going to sponge that there and then I'm going to sponge with the same sponge. I'm going to sponge some red onto uh, this uh, McDonald's barbecue sauce looking thing. Big Mac sauce. Reminds me of like a Ronald McDonald. Anyways, uh, black is what's going to make this really pop and look a bit more realistic. And uh, what you want to do is put a lot of black at the end. Because if you look at flamethrower videos or pictures, that's what you're going to see, right? So you want to try to 
mimic that, that flamethrower look. So I uh, put a lot of black at the end here. Could use some brush to get in there. And uh, don't go don't go all the way to the entrance of the uh, the exhaust there because there's usually no black around there. Now back to the body here. We're gonna rust it up and make it look uh, weathered with some orange. Real simple. And uh, I'm gonna put some orange where I rubbed off a lot of the paint. And maybe on some edges here. Just a little bit of orange. I'm trying to limit myself to like two, maybe three spots per side. Because I don't know when to stop myself. Really bad. At, at, at the less is more kind of thing. And then uh, once you've put a few spots of orange, you can use some brown. And uh, put a little bit of brown on top of the orange but don't cover all the orange just a little bit so you have like a gradual brown orange kind of thing make it a little bit more uh, realistic and if you want this is optional but with some black you can make it look like the metal kind of completely chipped off it's the metal is actually still there but the black makes it look like Part of the metal's missing, you know, something like that. It works well on edges. I don't think it works too well, like on when you're working on, uh, like here in the front here. This is gonna look more like a bullet hole than metal missing. But it's optional. You don't need to use the black if you don't if you don't want to. It's a good technique if you're using it like at the bottom of the car or like. Uh, on the fender above the wheels and stuff like that and uh, speaking of wheels i'm going to dirty this up with some brown you don't want like new tires right on gas lines cars you want them to look like they've driven through a desert or something so a quick way of doing this is putting some brown and some water make sure it's watered down brown uh, don't put direct brown it's going to be hard to remove after because you want to put some some water and brown and some excessive paint on these tires and then uh, roll it on uh, toilet paper or anything you want basically to remove most of it off the tire but it gives it a dirty slightly dirty look i'm going to do the front tires as well same way and now back to the car the engine here we're going to used my favorite brushed metal paint this is uh, what i use mostly to dirty and weather stuff up if you've been following me since i started uh, brushed metal is probably in every build i've ever done and i'm going to use that to just dirty it up over here because that's where the fire is coming out right so that's going to be the most dirty part so uh, what i like to do is also when there's very little paint left on the brush just pass it over real lightly and what that's going to do it's going to dirty up the edges anything that's uh, sticking out a little bit is going to is going to get darkened and it's going to give some detail like you'll see more of the uh, the rivets and the wiring and stuff like that it really makes stuff uh, pop out and really there's very little paint on the brush here almost no paint I believe that technique is called dry brushing, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to put the wheels back here, uh, glue that up, and uh, hold that there for a while so that it makes sure it sticks. And it's fun because the tires are still spinning. Some people like that, some people don't. The fire is really heavy on this thing, so it's making it like pop a wheelie. But uh, once you put the metal body on here, it's heavy enough to keep it balanced. And I'm uh, going to put more of that uh, brushed metal at the bottom here. See the silver part there is way too clean. Just a little bit of brushed metal on a, on a brush that's not clean. Where it has hairs sticking out all over the place. Because that's going to randomize where, you, where it gets dirty. And now it's time to ionize the exhaust or iodize the exhaust i still 
don't know the word but we're gonna use some metallic purple here along the edge and uh, you want to make it pretty thick because you're gonna go over it again with another color so uh, once you have that all around there some metallic purple you're gonna use some metallic blue and do that at the edge something like that again you could take your time make it look a lot more professional and if you want to go a step further you could use uh, copper or like a metallic rust or uh, gold if you have and do like a very thin line uh, right at the edge of the purple i'm gonna fix up the purple here and uh, it's kind of looking like a really burnt metal like it's been through extreme heat now i'm gonna do the eyes in the front here do some red with some yellow outline and then fix any little mistakes with some silver and again with the brushed metal i'm gonna just do all the edges of the body here well, it's gonna dirty it up a little bit more it's gonna make it more like it's in a uh, proximity to fire kind of car get the soot on the edges here I don't know if you could see that, but it's it's just basically cleaning your brush off the edges on the body. And again, once there's very little paint, you could just pass your brush a little bit everywhere, do some dry brushing, and it's going to make some stuff stick out a little bit more dirty. I'm going to do the front here. It's hard to see on camera, but it uh, the brushed metal shines really well when it gets hit by light and it looks like metal's really been damaged there and I'm going to use the uh, brown and some water again dirty up these mags they were way too clean super easy super unprofessional like but uh, it does the job so you could go on to doing other things or even playing the game and uh I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to try to do this uh, cotton ball smoke here, right? And this is the first time I'm doing it, and I had a hard time, guys. Seriously, I was trying real hard to make this work and look like smoke, and I failed. I tried all kinds of things. My my wife gave me makeup, said I uh, use the the gray there, and it's going to make it look more like smoke, and then I kind of looked a bit weird and then I used some water to try to shape it and that made it worse turned into like balls and if you guys have any tips please share it with us uh, write it in the comments let us know how you do this or if you know of, of a video of someone showing this I'd like to see that at one point my wife got really impatient and, and just took over she kicked me out kicked me out of the seat and she sat she sat down there and she she did it and did a better job than me uh, but then i uh, tried to fix it a little bit put some black paint there at the edges and uh, it came out i guess okay not what i was looking for but uh you know for the first time it's not bad and uh, that's gonna be my fourth car in the fire themed team and uh Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. We're at 800 now. 1,000 subscribers would really help out the channel. And uh, this month, well, December, uh, there's been a few entries, which is uh, really cool to see. All the people entering the Gaslands TV contest. All you got to do is uh, submit a car that has some purple or some blue or some Gasland TV uh, colors. Um, cameras like satellite dishes anything that uh, you know you think would be cool in the gaslands tv crew and uh, all you got to do is post that up on our facebook page and even if you don't win you could use the exact same picture again next month um, a lot of these are really good job and uh, for this month the winner is james mariner mariner sorry if i butchered your last name but contact me and i will send you shipment of a bunch of assorted things 
if you guys are looking for anything like uh, guns templates uh, gates anything to play the game anything to modify your car uh, rams engines with skulls on them uh, you could order containers full of these things tires and uh, we just added a new container and these containers have like flamethrowers and uh, guns some flames and stuff like that so go check that out also join our gas lines tv facebook page and uh, make sure to uh, comment like and share the video also uh, check out gas lines tv racing which is coming soon where you can send in your cars and we'll race them against each other thanks for watching and uh, see you next time